Hi there, Jamie Keat here today, uh, Teacher Tech Tips. Um, hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, I'm having a great day. I found some new tips to use in the Omni Bar, what I and I want to share those with you. Um, hopefully, uh, you like some of these tips. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel for weekly tech tips, uh, anything from tips, tutorials, and features. Uh, so the Omnibar up top here, um, you can do a few different things to kind of give yourself a little shortcut. It's almost like adding extensions, but I'm going to show how you can do some things yourself. So I have two different uh, uh, tabs open right now, which I'm going to be jumping back and forth. I'm just rather than typing everything in, I'm going to copy paste them over to show you um, how they get used. And then I'll give you the link to this document uh, inside my description. So just take a look at it uh, down there. And if any of you have any other um, uh, tips and tricks on the Omnibar, please please write them down below so maybe I could create another video uh, for uh, people to see a little later. So uh, what I'm going to show you here first is you can kind of customize your um, Omnibar by uh, if you just go up to it and right click in it, uh, you can go to edit search engine. So I'm just going to go to edit search engines. You can see I have a new tab open up. You can see there's default search ones. You can see like the Google, Yahoo, Bing, Ask. I could select which one um, I'd want uh, to be my main browser. So I'm going to leave it at the Google one. And uh, what I'm going to do at this one uh, right here now, I'm going to add uh, add a, uh, a little Omnibar, Omnibar trick uh, to it. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm just going to quickly take this link that I have as a dictionary here. And I'm just going to go uh, copy and I'm going to move back to it and I'm just going to paste it in here. And I, this is the kind of the short code that I'm going to put in it. And then this uh, over here, I'll just call it uh, the full word here. And then I'm going to hit done. Now I'm just going to open up a new tab. I'm going to show you what happens at this point. So if I say DIC and then just space, you notice how it turned to search dictionary. And so if I type the word like fast and what it does is brings me right to dictionary.com. Uh, I can do the same thing for thesaurus. I'm not going to put the thesaurus one in because it's it's doing the same way. But if you uh, put your, uh, then all I'd have to type is the THS and then it would bring me to the thesaurus uh, just typing the word. Uh, so these are the ones I find really cool too here. So uh, you can add drive, Gmail and calendar shortcuts right in. So if I highlight this, uh, I'm going to put this uh, for my drive in here and um, I'm just going to go back and so remember, I'm just going to close down this tab. I'm <clears throat> just going to right click in it again and I'm going to go to edit search engine. I'm going to put this one in here and paste it. And this is my drive one. I'm just going to call this DRV. Um, you can call it whatever you would like for the shortcut there. And I'll just put Google Drive as my uh, description there. So uh, I'm just going to put that. And then so I'm going to open a new tab just to show you again. So if I go DRV space, and you can see it turned to search Google Drive right away. Uh, so let's say if I'm looking for, I must have something on videos because since I make videos and I look and you can see it's, it's searching my Google Drive right now. And it has anything that had the word video in it. So I had a lot. So I could have uh, maybe made a bit, little bit better of a choice words there. But just to show the point there, um, GR, uh, just put in the little uh, uh, abbreviation that I picked. You could pick a different one and you go from there. So the next one I want to show you is even in Gmail, you can do this. So I'm going to take this one and go copy and uh, again, right click, uh, so edit search engine and I'm going to add this one in. And I believe this was Gmail, so I'll just say GML here. Whoops, not GMA, GML, and I'll just give it a heading here, uh, Gmail. All right, and again, and uh, if I tip, put in GML this time in a space, you can see it's going to search my Gmail. And uh, so if I was looking for a, sp a specific thing, maybe it was YouTube and anything from, you can see my whole list of YouTube stuff uh, is on there. So. Um, and the last one I want to show you here, and again, I'll put this document, I'll link it so you can take a look at it though. And I find this one kind of cool with the calendar. And so I'm going to take this uh, link right here and I'm going to copy it and uh, again, right click and I'm going to go to edit search engines, add this link here. And at this time I'll put, uh, what is it? Oh yeah, calendar, I'll put C-A-L. And then I'm going to put, uh, I'll just put uh, calendar, there's not with a G. Uh, can't see. All right, there you go. Hit and hit done. 
And now at this time, um, so if I type in CAL space, you can see search calendar co comes up. So what I can do though now is if I start typing in uh, uh, meet mum for lunch at, well, let's go to Wendy's, at uh, Wendy's um, at 1 p.m., let's put uh, December 10th. And then what you notice, <laughs> is look what happened here. So I have December 10th got in, the 1 p.m. got in, and it uh, all connected into my calendar. It did bring it to it, and I just have to hit save, and then it's in. I can add a little bit more, maybe change my uh, headings. But this one I thought was kind of a, a neat shortcut uh, So uh, for using the Omnibar. So these are some just some tips that um, I, I found, uh, and I wanted to share them with you guys. So if you have any other neat ones, please write them uh, down below in the comments so I can kind of keep collecting them and keep sharing uh, this information because I think it can kind of speed things up for people or just little neat tricks uh, to know. So I'm Jamie Keat on uh, Teacher Tech Tips. And remember, if you liked what you see and if you want uh, weekly updates and some tech stuff for the classroom, Please subscribe to my channel.